right, so just a little bit on grip. Uh, you can do some grip training using a loading pin, so we can put some plates on and then use different attachments. So let me show you a couple. Here's one of them, okay? You can see it's a cylinder here. It's really, really thick, so it's very hard to hold on to. I like to do things like kind of raise the arm up a little bit, put a little bit of kinetic stress there, right? Like the stress of motion pulling down, right? And so this is what it looks like. You get the loading pin here. And again, we can load different pieces onto here. So let me show you two others. All right, this time I've got the cannonball. Okay, so you can see just a, a round metal ball with the, with the uh, eye hook. And so again, we can move it around a little bit. You can just do static holds for these, and believe me, just holding it for a period of time, especially if you weight it even heavier. So I would be able to weight this heavier than I could that big cylinder, okay? And so I have another one, it's a pinch block, and I'll show you that. All right, so you see here I have the pinch block, it's loaded to the, or attached to the plate-loaded pin. And so this one's pretty difficult, uh, because again, you gotta really pinch hard to maintain the weight, and again, the great thing about that plate loaded pin is that you can load different weights. You can do static holds. You can move it a little bit. I don't move it around a lot. That's not the goal of it. But you can move it a little bit through space if you like. Generally, I do static holds with these type of things. You can do it, hold it out if you want to work some accessory muscles or I should say some other alternative muscles like deltoid, things like that. Um, however, I just generally use it for grip strength. Let me know if you have any questions. Stay strong. I'll see you next time. Thank you.